What is good YouTube? It is your boy Chalaz and we are back with another video and today I am going to be revealing to you guys my new car. So, quick little story about this car. I had my JZX100 Mark II that I had as a daily. Ended up seeing his post on this car that I wanted and offered him to trade. I was selling the JZX anyways. He said he was down so I drove to go pick it up. I kind of recorded some of that but then once i actually got to him i didn't record anything so i pretty much deleted what i had because the clips just wouldn't make sense so i am going to be revealing the car to you guys today it is looking pretty beat right now because i took off like all the panels i already sold the front end i sold the side skirts i sold the rear bumper so because i'm changing the whole look of the car i don't want the car to be recognizable at all and um yeah but enough talking let me just show you guys the car with that being said if you guys enjoyed today's video drop thumbs up for your boys we're also installing our first mod that's why i have these gloves on so drop a like for your boy and let's get straight into it well boys here she is so if you guys are local to like the florida area you've probably seen this car on marketplace i don't know who knows but this is an S14 right hand drive, but it's been converted. Hence why it still has this guy in it. But I didn't mind this part. I know people are big SR fans or whatever. I'm, aside from sound, I really, I'm more of a K person personally. So let's go over this car right quick though. Starting off with the interior. Uh, I tried to take it off the steering wheel hub because guy put it on wrong and the wheel is like super crooked the alignment is like straight and everything i kind of check all that stuff but the wheel was just put on super crooked but you can see it has a cage for the most part it's fully gutted the fuse box has been re relocated to right here i guess with the kill switch then we have like our switch panel i changed out the shift knob already i'm ordering i already ordered a new one just waiting for it to come in um but i just put this one in for in the meantime just because i had it inside so door cards are pretty clean aside from these holes that were cut in them for what reason i don't know but i'm gonna throw them in this girl right here because my door cards are shot and i'm gonna take the ones that are in there and put it in here but do some stuff with them it's gonna look good going to the rear of the car it came with like these stock lexus wheels toyota wheels i don't know these over fenders i looked underneath them they're cut but they're not like really like, I guess properly sealed or whatever, but nothing I can't fix. So these will be for sale too, these over fenders. I don't like them. I already ordered some more. So we have these Zanky tails. It is a Zanky car. Let me take this over fender off. This over fender has suffered a lot and it's for um, this car. But let me show you guys. It doesn't have a light right here, but he gave it to me, but I might just keep it off just for the access of opening the trunk right there. I don't mind that. This whole rear has been painted, um, along with the cage, obviously it's green, but it looks pretty okay, but I'm still gonna change the color of the inside. The battery has been relocated back here. It seems held down. Okay, I guess I might look over that and try to get that tighter, tighter. but so far not too bad. I like how the cage looks. It's pretty sturdy, like I've shaken it and stuff doesn't seem like loose or anything the wells don't seem too bad so as a full i think like a megan exhaust or something like that it underneath it's pretty much like a full straight pipe all the way to this muffler so it's pretty loud but i'm probably going to just change the tips on it show you guys the other side it still has um like oh it rained over here this thing has gotten wet inside no big deal though still has like the hood latch cable on this side i'm gonna have to move to the other side some wires back there um it looks like they just weren't like tucked or like cleaned up properly but uh, i'm gonna handle all that stuff i've only had the car for a few days but i haven't had time to really dive into it or anything like that um you can see from this side as well i have a bucket seat already inside i got a water seat bracket for that side um, this door panel is way cleaner than the one of my other S14, so I'm snatching this too. Also, the switches and stuff. Now that you guys have seen the car, 
Um, it needs some work. It's a slick top car too. I don't know if I showed that. It doesn't have a sunroof. You can kind of see back there. It doesn't have a sunroof, which is huge W's and it's pretty cool for drift cars and all that stuff. But now that I showed you guys the car and you kind of see, oh wait, I didn't show you guys like another few bits. Completely forgot, but this car does have some coilovers on it. I don't know the brand. I haven't really looked into it like that. I think these are R33 wheels or reps. Who knows? I don't. Um, what else we got down here? We have some type of tension rod. I looked in the back, it's all stock arms. And I also seen, um, I don't know if I can see it, but I think when I was underneath the car or something like that, I kind of noticed that it has like this, let me show it has like this, um, I don't know if it's gonna focus, but I think it's like a GK Tech, like adapter, like angle kit kind of thing, so. That's pretty cool. I never tried that out, but I got some spare knuckles over here that I've had for my other S14, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up and throw those on this car and get some extended lowers. Just because um, I'm already familiar with that kind of setup. I don't know anything about this GK Tech adapter thing. Could be good, could be not. I don't know, but I'm just gonna stick with what I'm familiar with, so. All right, enough talking. Let me show you guys the first mod that we are gonna be doing to this car. Boom. First mod is a set of OEM Koki tail lights. Um, they're not 100% perfect. The center looks to be darker than the rest of like, like the corner lights. This is not too bad, not too faded, but the corners are a bit more faded. You can kind of see the difference right there. Corners are a bit more faded. And this one has like a little bit of damage here and a little slit right here, but it's still the light is still intact it's just a little slit right there so eventually i might just restore these and um make it look all darker and make them look good or whatever but for now i'm just gonna throw them on the car all right before we get into this though i want to kind of give you guys like a rundown of my game plan with this car so if you guys seen the original pictures it might be in the thumbnail i'm not too sure if i want to use the pictures that i have but this car came with um a body kit side skirts rear bumper front bumper and it also had an s15 front but the the front was um very like badly converted in my opinion like these were kind of like the fenders for them didn't really fit too well kind of like somebody fabbed these up or whatever i'm not too sure what they did but regardless of the fenders or whatever the hood was good the headlights were good the front bumper was good really just the fenders that were like very wonky but the reason why i sold all that stuff is because i already have a 14.5 and i plan on getting a 15 so i just don't want to have all these cars that look exactly the same so with that being said this car is going to be built like my last koki that i never really showcased on youtube but i might throw up a picture hopefully i can just insert it here but i'm gonna build a nice koki car out of this ordered most of my stuff already rear fenders front fenders front headlights front corner lights um i'm picking up a kbd bumper koki bumper today then i gotta pick up my side skirts and um rear bumper i gotta order those then we got the koki lights i already have a thrash wheel inside that i'm gonna throw in that steering wheel is cool but i'm probably gonna throw in my thrash wheel throw in my bridge moto bucket seat got my shift knob coming so i have a lot of things coming also gonna throw on some more constant tandems for the front and rear gonna be doing a staggered setup so i'm gonna snag the tires off of these for the 17s up front and then i'm gonna get rid of these wheels probably probably sell them yeah probably sell them i really they're nice but i don't really don't need them and then i'm gonna have some ten and a halves in the rear so i'm gonna run that 18 17 staggered setup so should be a pretty cool and fun build and i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i'm going to enjoy building it because i really miss my last koki but enough talking i'm gonna set up the time lapse um of installing these tail lights so let's get straight into it
All right, yeah, just like that, tail lights are on. And even though they don't look 100%, I would say they look better than Zanke, especially when you put a nice color on the car. I think these will look, these will look really good. Like I said, I'm probably gonna restore them. I think I got these. But in the meantime, they're pretty good. I got them for, I guess, a good price. I got them for, I pay like 300? Yeah, I wanna say I paid 300 for them. So not too bad. I would have got a pair of these because I like these a bit more. You can kind of see the difference. I like these a bit more, but these brand new would have been more expensive than these. So, and I really just couldn't stand Zenki Tellers. So those will do for now. Plus they're going on a drift car. So if they get like thrashed up, I don't feel too bad. And they were already on a drift car. So all good. But with that being said, guys, that's the end of today's video just a quick install and a car review for you guys with that being said if you did enjoy today's video it's greatly appreciated if you guys leave a like comment something nice and subscribe for your boy with that being said it's been your boy Tobias. we out peace